Earth signs. Capricorn. Ooh, I said Capricorn, Aquarius, and Taurus. What was I going to say? Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Last but not least, I always, I usually save you guys for the last. Um, so I appreciate you for being here. Uh, thank you for coming back and a welcome if you're new. I do additional readings on my Instagram page every Tuesdays and Thursdays um, at grateful underscore Drake. So whenever you can catch those, why the hell not? Go ahead and give your girl a follow over there. If you're looking for a way to give back, the best thing that you can do is like and subscribe, of course. Um, leaving a comment's always nice. So sorry, don't burp, that won't help. But um, any sort of sharing, sharing is the best, honestly, the best way of giving back. So this is all about um, long-term, long-term benefits that help me, long-term. <clears throat> so even better than money is the traction on my page and my channel, okay? So sharing is caring, I would appreciate it very much. Earth signs, I love you guys. Let's get into your motherfucking reading. These readings today have been something else just feel really grounded capricorn virgo and taurus capricorn virgo all right <laughs> yes please come through the hierophant okay we'll take those two <clears throat> capricorn virgo and taurus All right, so sorry, that's right. Uh, stretch that back. Okay, so some of y'all are on a big, big time spiritual path. Okay, the first card that came out while I was shuffling was the hier is the hierophant. Okay, the hierophant is the path of outward leadership outward spiritual leadership he's our spiritual guide you know these are people that run churches or uh maybe even people that do this kind of work tarot readers and psychics and um people that are really um helping the collective evolve spiritually um this could also be about religion as well somebody here's on uh, on the brink of <laughs> A major shift, uh, pivot is, is the word of the week, uh, major pivot. Okay. There's some sort of choice that maybe that you've been, um, um, what's the word? Ignoring some choice or some change that needs to be made. It's possible that the, the change is within business finance, um, or something that would has to do with, uh, your sense of security, long-term sense of security. So there's some kind of change that you're on the brink of making. Maybe you're aware of it. Maybe you're not. Uh, maybe you're aware of it, but you've been avoiding it. Maybe you are aware of it, but you haven't known which way to go with it. So you've been kind of at a standstill. But there is a departure, a leaving from one way and into a new way. Okay. Um, this, you guys end with the tower. So, and it's, it's interesting because this boat is like sailing right into the tower. So it's almost like you know that you're moving in the direction less traveled. 
it almost feels like you really know that you want to move toward the discomfort regardless of what that means like you're really putting faith in the fact that you know that this is for your evolution and your soul growth okay the center card is the ten of pentacles it's because you're really working on building your self-worth you know if this isn't about finances or business this is really about generational wealth and abundance wealth also within body within mind within spirit within who you are as a human being really getting better and being a better oh no no stella stella no come here come here no babe she was making herself real cozy on my daughter's pillow not on the pillow sorry girlfriend sorry you need a bath okay so somebody's really working hard and in doing some painful work it's a very spiritual path, right? We start with the Hierophant. It's a very spiritual, noble way to go. But there is kind of this sense of like, hmm, you have no idea like what is going to this path, no idea where this is going to lead you. Hang on a second. Six. Okay, sorry. I heard some shenanigans in the hallway. They're giving Gary the guinea pig a bath. So I just want to make sure everything was okay. Okay, so let's pull it a card. Because the only thing that's kind of like I'm a little bit slightly perplexed about is some of y'all doing some deep diving. So I definitely see you moving toward a, moving toward it's almost like you you know you know that if you play it safe it won't benefit you so you're moving towards the the difficult path the only thing that's which is great and we start with the hierophant which is a spiritual path so it makes sense that you're moving in that direction but i'm just a little bit perplexed by the two of swords so i'm looking for some clarity on the two of swords maybe it's about not making the conventional or traditional choice Look, you guys get the Six of Swords again, okay? So definitely, definitely, definitely um, moving in a different direction, leaving, um, leaving what's known, okay? And moving towards something brand new, okay? I love the Three of Pentacles. Whenever the Three of Pentacles comes, shows up with difficult cards, such as the Tower, it tells me that what's being built is for is not completely revealed itself so if this period feels unknown and feels kind of mysterious and feels a little bit stressful and you're not sure and you're working from the ground up and maybe you're starting something new this is it should give you some peace of mind because it's like look there's something beautiful that's happening here for you okay there is a lot of hard work ahead of you okay but i know my my capricorn virgos and taurus are not afraid of hard work right we are those earth people that really know how to get get in there and do the earth work right getting our hands dirty we 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 could do that so this brings us peace of mind okay you can make no wrong choice this came like this and i'm a little i was perplexed about it but i'm not any anymore you can make no wrong choice Follow that spiritual guide, that spiritual nudge, that intuition that you have, and you will not be led astray. 
Let's check the bottom of that deck. Six of Pentacles. You're coming into a time that's very balanced and reciprocal. That's giving um, to you. Um, it's a very reciprocal give and take. A balanced relationship. A balanced career. Something that feels very fulfilling. popped out oh wow balanced didn't I just say balance you got balance and you also got the light of the world the light of the world let's read that one first it's a major arcana card it's also um, a 10 which in the tarot 10 is the wheel of fortune yes it is Lucky, luck, okay? An old sage holds a glowing lantern, right? A glowing lantern. And knocks on a door with no latch. A young man inside is too distracted to answer the knock. Your divine being is trying to get your attention. All it takes is a moment for your awareness to open the door. Though your life may be busy, the opportunity now presents itself to you to move into a higher awareness. It's a great time to open your higher self and all its wisdom and powers. It is your soul, your eternal being, who approaches, but it is up to you and only you to open the door. You do that by taking real and regular action in knowing and feeling the wise and radiant being you are forever. Through meditation and study, you can own that enormous love, power, and vision. You can make every day sacred by going within. Once you do, you will know a radiant and gr greater power in every step and with every word. You will be able to bring this magnificent force to your world, changing your life forever. Okay? And we're just just really looking at balance. Let me just read this a, a little bit because I feel like... I got this earlier for, um, I believe it was Air Signs. And it was there was more to it that I thought was really powerful. This card reveals a time of harmony, balance, and justice in your life. A desk holds balanced scales, scrolls, and stacks of papers. Shelves of books grace a wall where a door opens onto a light-filled room. Upright, this card indicates that a time of balance is at hand. All systems, through the body, through nature, and through society, seek to achieve balance. Stop and consider the parts of your life that you can bring into greater balance. During this time, the universe helps you to do so. You may have to confront important legal issues. You may have to deal with paperwork of some kind, or there may be a need for legal action regarding property, inheritance, work contracts, custody, or divorce. Be patient and pay attention to details as technicalities will be important right now. But things bode well. Justice is at hand. Take heart at the sight of the golden light that washes over the scene a sign that all issues will come to light and that a beneficial and just resolution is coming your way. Justice is balance in society, but the Akashic records show that justice is not limited strictly to court and contract situations. Justice and reciprocity are energetic, so the energy you put forth will now return to you in the future. So keep moving forward even if it feels like it's not doing anything. Okay, keep moving forward. <clears throat> Remember that your energy production is up to you. Continue to be aware of your thoughts and actions. Inner balance now leads to a beautiful destiny tomorrow. Yes, kings and queens. Yes. Okay. Earth signs. Optimism. Okay, that's three. Optimism. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> New supportive connections and a consciousness of lack. So just, just catch yourself, friend. Are we, do we tend to kind of go here, this lack mentality, like, 
oh, things are not going to turn out the way I want them to. Do we kind of think in the back of our minds, like, fuck, we're not going to really get what we want or we're not going to be able to do what we, we want to do. Okay. We want to stay optimistic and to enjoy and, um, new supportive connections. Okay. These new people that come into our lives are part of our journey. So let them in. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Wowza. Okay. Everything's upright. Really bright cards. Okay. The center card is the wheel of fortune, right? We, you guys got the 10 here, right? This is a 10. And I was like, the 10 is also the wheel of fortune in the tarot. This is this card. It's a very lucky card. Talks about opportunities. Talks about there be a, being a door that's open to you at this time. Um, something's available to you. The portal is open. Okay, it also talks about um, karma, divine timing. It talks, Stella, come here, babe, not on the pillow. Come here, Stella. Sorry, guys. Come back. I know, what a tease. I should have made the bed. Sorry, Luna. I usually make the bed so we don't run into that problem okay so the wheel of fortune is our center card we've just finished something three of wands is creative and passionate endeavors okay it's it's at the end of a cycle though we've just finished something and we're on the brink of starting something new okay ideas inspiration will hopefully come flashing in or you're about to begin something you you got the three and the two of wands actually you start with the three yes we just finished something and you're about to start something so something wrapped up okay job well done taking a look at 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 your work ah great work and then now we're about to move into a new phase where we're going to begin building again. Okay. Two. Something where we have choices. Okay. Opportunities. You got two twos. So choices. You may even be uh, meeting new people and having these yummy, healthy partnerships or relationships. Two and two. Two of cups. This is healthy, loving, fulfilling uh, relationships and friendships. Okay. And this is two of wands. This is passionate, energetic energy to do whatever we would like. The ball is in our court. easy okay girlfriend boyfriend homie love a friend you guys definitely have a theme here eight of force is the lightning bolt so let's look this up real quick but it does remind me of the tower so we are just looking at stuff so the last part of the reading made me feel like it was a spiritual journey you were on that required you going down the path less traveled okay you got the tower at the end of that you're moving towards the breakdown of something so that you could heal it so that you could deal with it and solve it with this reading it feels more passionate it feels more relationshipy okay it feels more about um dealing with other people okay so eight of forces let's look it up but if it's anything like the tower it's about having this cleansing of the old way so that we can have healthy new situations, relationships come up into our life. Let's check time. Okay. Forces. Forces in this um, deck represent energy, consciousness, and the natural law. And it's an eight. Forces. Forces. 
the lightning bolt. A lightning bolt illuminates a stormy night, striking a tree down to its core. Puddles of rain pool under the ground. This card shows that it's a time of splitting apart, right? Even two is like splitting apart, two. A time of loss, disappointment, or even a metaphorical death. You may be feeling wounded, grieved, or gravely disappointed. The loss could be career opportunity, romantic relationship, partnership, creative project, or friendship. At first glance, the event may seem sudden or unexpected, but in the light that flashes, we see a deep, we see the deep puddles of storm that have been going on for some time. You've probably been aware of the threat or difficulty at some level, even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before. Now it's time to accept the situation and not fight for what's so. There is benefit coming, but it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to clear, cleanse the field. So it just really feels like brand new, fresh, energetic energies coming in. There's definitely cleansing and healing here. And possibly changes a new direction, maybe even new relationships on the horizon for you. Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo. Sorry, my itchy. Yes. Your higher self. Okay, that's the card. It keeps dancing around. Yes. Your higher self, transformation and creative endeavor. Okay. So we're really transforming our relationship, maybe even to ourselves, how we see ourselves so that we can, well, not only meet a, a, a partner or a mate, that's great, right? But this could be about healing self, but also about where are we pivoting? What are we pivoting toward um, within our careers, within how we make money, within our creative endeavors, okay? Uh, there's really a transformative and karmic energy that's present here. Really incredible stuff. Thank goodness. Wow, lots of cups here, friends. <laughs> Three out of five cups, so lots of love up in the air. So we've been working on feeling worthy of love. What kind of love do we have in our lives? What kind of love do we continue to attract in our lives? <clears throat> I think in the past we didn't feel very deserving, but we're beginning to feel deserving very much so the empress man this is like the ultimate divine feminine energy she's bomb she's sensual she's sexual she's soft she's receptive she's kind she's nurturing they call her the wife and the mother okay in the past she's felt very depleted this aspect of you felt depleted but no longer okay no longer that's where we're working that's what we're coming out of. That's what we're leaving. Center card is Ten of Cups. The ultimate fulfillment. Here we have a family that's really happy and joyous. Uh, doesn't have to be family. It's whatever you wish for. The last card is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Your wish is my command, okay? Just remember, because this little sneaky bastard comes up in here. Our self-esteem and our sense of worthiness as human beings as beautiful divine goddesses and gods okay remember we are worthy of everything because this card kind of comes up to show like this getting in the way feeling this is kind of like that lack mentality and kind of getting slipping back from time to time into relationships or partnerships or just just not fully um, 
holding ourselves to the highest standard that we deserve. Okay, this is being okay with the bare minimum. Okay, so it comes up just to keep remind us and keep us grounded. <clears throat> My throat feels crazy all of a sudden. You are probably right now really fertile. Ideas and creativity could be kind of overflowing. Um, prosperous endeavors are in front of you. Okay. These are a lot of lucky cards that you got here. <clears throat> the Empress here. Yeah, look at this. Paths unknown. So you're moving in a direction that's really powerful. You're moving in the path toward the path less traveled, I feel like. Um, it's up to you to stick with it um, and to know that use your intuition too. Hence why you get so many cups. Cups are uh, symbolic of water waters intuition that flow that kind of just knowingness of where i'm going and, and trusting the unknown trusting the unknown paths unknown eight of scrolls eight of scrolls woodland animals gather around a woman who stands in a small clearing in the forest. The fork before her breaks into three separate paths. The middle is clear and bright. The left is much darker with more trees and growth, and the right is dappled by sunlight with a few shadows falling, falling here and there across it. This card reveals that you've been traveling on a path that's known to you, and it shows you the way your expected outcomes. And it shows you the way to the expected outcomes. But there are two other paths that aren't as clear. Remember, if you stay with the only with only the known and seemingly safe, you won't catch the unseen opportunities that can come your way. Some options may be unexpected and perhaps a little risky. Don't be so attached to your agenda that you miss them. Happily, during this phase, you can investigate unknown paths and make the decision that lie before you with confidence. Wasn't I saying the path less traveled the whole time? That's crazy. You are flexible and brave enough to step into the and shadows. You want to send it to. Oh, you've been recording everything I've been saying. That's shady. I don't want to send nothing to anybody. Thank you very much, Siri. Crazy lady. What time is it? 302. You are flexible and brave enough to step into the shadows. Stay alert. Extraordinary opportunities abound in the least expected places. Yes. The path less traveled, friends. The path less traveled. I'm going to cut, cut, cut and take the top cards. Three cards, please. The path less traveled, please. New exciting endeavors. Wishes coming true. Maybe becoming a mom. Maybe becoming a mom again. Maybe having healing with our mothers. Maybe feeling more whole as a woman in general. Regardless of if kids are involved or not. How powerful we are as women. The sacred temple. The vast universe <clears throat> and the honoring path. There we go with that, that word again, path, the honoring path. Y'all, somebody here is really in a really exciting time. Look at these cards, the sacred temple. Can you get that? Maybe if I take my face out, there we go. The sacred temple. I mean, these are just really mysterious, cool cards. Oh, there's your time. The vast universe, like unlimited potential. You can do anything you want. And the honoring path. Okay. All right, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I love you guys. If you're still here, please hit that like button and share this video with a friend that could use it. I'd appreciate it. I love you guys. Happy motherfucking week. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, y'all. Bye.